Hey everybody, this is Casey. Uh, today we're just going to look at the Sea Lion web browser, which is a web browser available in Phoenix, and um, I think is pretty impressive. So I have a list of websites that we will be taking a look at, and I'll give Sea Lion a grade. Um, we'll keep it simple. We'll just say good, fair, or poor. The first site that we're going to look at is an HD video on YouTube. You can see that I am using the VLC plugin, um, and you use that with the ViewTube uh, Grease Monkey script. It's all very easy to set up. And the VLC plugin comes standard with Phoenix installation. As you can see, it provides very smooth HD video. You can maximize the window maximize the video and take a look at the comments And as you can see, you get uh, the full YouTube experience. So this works really well. I'm going to give this uh, the score of good. Next up, we have a GitHub page. I just kind of randomly chose the page for Classic Cube. Previously, um, quite a few browsers had problems displaying GitHub, uh, at least for PowerPC Linux. But um, as you can see, this all renders very well. The widgets work, these links work, the main table works, images are displayed. So this gets a score of good. Next up, we have a Facebook group. I have set up the Sea Lion browser in Phoenix to browse Facebook through the simpler uh, mobile rendering to get rid of a lot of the heavy JavaScript stuff. You can change that if you'd like, but I think that this renders pretty well. And um, you get all of the main Facebook functionality, so I'm going to give that a good score. Next, we have an online game that you play through the web browser. The game is Micropolis, uh, which is the version of SimCity that was made open source. So we'll call it Phoenix City. Um, I won't play this for long here, I'll just kind of make a simple village to show you the functionality and we can see what the performance is like. The main difference between this version and the version that um, runs in the desktop is that uh, this version doesn't appear to have uh, sound. And some of the options use text labels instead of icons, but other than that, it's pretty close. As you can see, this runs pretty well. There are a couple of times when um, there's a bit of a lag between my mouse action and uh, when it happens in the game um, but it's um, it's not really too noticeable uh, I would say that this is a very playable experience just kind of curl this around here 
looks like I have a break in the wire. Let's add a couple of parks. And then I'll get a police department. And a fire department. Yeah, I think this works really well. Um, some of the other functions here in the game. But I'm going to give this a score of good as well. Next up we have Open Desktop Services. Uh, this is the same site that uh, Phoenix Companion routes you to, uh, to set up online services. So one of them is the um, Files Syncing Service. So in Phoenix, um, in the File Manager, uh, you can sync with this service that you can then access through any web browser on any system. So you can access your files from any place, really. Let's see if I can delete these here. And I actually wanted those in there, so I'm going to go ahead and put them back. Okay, I think this works pretty well. I'll give it a score of good. And that was the file synchronization service. Uh, Open Desktop also has a Maps instance, uh, which is um, kind of similar to something like Google Maps. Looks like it's taking a second to load here, but I think that's pretty reasonable if it uh, if it still works well once it loads. Okay, and here's uh, the open desktop maps. This is actually surprisingly smooth. Um, this works really, really well. Everything's very quick to load. Yeah, this is um, this is better than I expected actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a score of good. For a general site, I just chose uh, It's FOSS. The reason that I chose this site uh, is because it's a fairly decently sized page with quite a few different um, high quality pictures. And as soon as this is loaded in, it's um, pretty smooth, everything works well. So I'm going to give this good, a uh, good score, um, but it's similar to like any, you know, blog or website that you might come about. And next we have Sketchfab. The reason that I chose Sketchfab is because it has um, an integrated 3D viewer. So I wanted to see if Sea Lion would work with their 3D viewer. It's a site where you can um, download or purchase various 3D models and um, things like that. So it looks like we have an error with the 3D viewer, but it's actually working perfectly fine. So maybe the error loads an error, I, I'm not sure, but the actual viewer works well. And even like with these um, 
thumbnail 3D views, these seem to work just fine as well. All right, I actually wasn't expecting this to work that well either, but um, it works well, so I'll give it a score of good. Next up, um, famous royalty-free music. Okay, this works great. Let's pick out another track here. Just go with this here. All right, so that loaded in and played without a hitch. I'm going to go ahead and give that a score of good as well. And then a little bit more difficult, let's try out SoundCloud. So again, it looks like this uh, is taking a couple seconds to load, which is probably pretty reasonable. This is a, a pretty busy site, but um, if it actually works, then I, I think it's reasonable that it takes a, a couple seconds to load everything. Okay, so everything loaded in, it looks like it rendered all right. So let's actually check out a piece of music. See if we're able to play here. And we are. Looks like all of the um, widgets and things work well. We're able to see the comments. This is actually a very smooth experience. Well, it takes a couple seconds to load, but once it's loaded in, everything is working really well. So I'm going to give it a score of good. And then just as an added test, I'm going to see if we can play SoundCloud while browsing another site. So I'll just open the Phoenix website. Let's check out the news. Check out the screenshots. Okay, let's take a look at game screenshots. Just a couple of them here. This does fine with uh, multi-browsing. Um, so it's great. Uh, again, this has been Sea Lion. Sea Lion is uh, developed by Wicknix. So, definitely extend our thanks to Wicknix for providing this great browser for PowerPC Linux. It's really great. In subsequent videos, we'll be taking a look at Eoli and Web. And that's all for this one. Thanks for watching.